Hey guys, welcome to Golf Ball Attic. So last weekend I got to go out and play some golf, and I went to Brooksville Country Club, which is a local course here in my area, and it actually has gotten some national attention before. It has two of the funnest holes to play in America, according to Golf Digest. I think that was back in 2010, if I remember correctly, but uh, it's a beautiful course. The front nine's, you know, decently okay, but once you get to the back nine, it's built on an old quarry, and that's especially how these two holes are right here. So I wanted to share this with you guys. Like I said, we're playing as a scramble team, uh, so just to kind of give you a run through, it's beautiful. If you really appreciate the architecture that goes in, into making a golf course, I think you'll really like this and appreciate it. So this is the 12th hole here starting out. You can kind of see the quarry over there. And you've basically got two options. You're going to tee off from here. It's about 250 to the hole. Um, and you can either go down the right side there. You can see it in the valley. That's all fairway. And then you can chip up into the green. Right, right there, of course. Um, and then, Or you can go left. That's all fairway over there as well. And then you can kind of chip down onto the green. It's just harder to see. Uh, me being me, of course, I went right at it. Only 250 away. Um, I didn't have my shot tracer app working, so that ended up a little bit left. Uh, you'll see where it ended up in just a moment. Um, this is the, the quarry. This is actually, um, I've got the camera pointed over at the 13th hole at the moment. Um, so we're on 12, but that's where 13 is over there. Quite beautiful. Now once you come over here, you'll kind of see the, the fairway as far as, this is the one that was up. It was elevated fairway. You can't see it very well, but it does give you a better look at the green. So ball ended up pretty good there. Just going to chip it down. Not bad. Ended up about maybe five, six feet from the hole somewhere there. So now walking up to the green, you can kind of see the valley over there. There's the quarry over there. That's 13. And then I'm actually on the far side of the green over there. That's where we just chipped from. And then my scramble partner was able to make the putt. So we actually got birdie there. That was the only birdie we made, ironically, of the day. So very fun. Then we take a cart ride up. This is going to be the 13th tee box up here. And as you can see, you're, you're teeing off from a very high elevation. You have to see that here in a second, but uh, quite beautiful here. That's the 12th over there that we were just at. That's where you tee off on the far side over there from the 12th. And then basically, yeah, so you're hitting off this elevation straight down into the valley, straight into the quarry. Very tough because if you go right or left, it's, it's very difficult. So you're just trying to put one in the middle here. Not a bad swing, but mine ended up a little right, ended up kind of tailing off, ended up on the cart path down there. You can kind of see it from here, but uh, ended up right on that cart path, so we did not play my ball, unfortunately. So once we get done with the tee box, then you kind of get in the cart and travel downwards. Definitely get to test the limits of a golf cart right here, speed-wise. And then you've got, you know, kind of your, your seniors or professional ladies tees there. Back over there, that's the valley from hole 12 we were just on a minute ago. Very nice layout of the hole there. And then, of course, that's where the ladies get to tee off from. So that's where my mom tees off from. So we ended up playing her ball. I know it's actually in the drop area, but we, we didn't actually have to drop it. So mine went off a little right, didn't hit it perfectly clean. We actually ended up losing mine, but one of my scramble partners actually did get up here right on the green. Very nice hole. And then my continuing of playing this hole like garbage. Uh, I bladed it, so we didn't use mine. We ended up using someone else's, and we got out with a par. So yeah, thanks guys. Appreciate you being here. Like and subscribe for more. Two beautiful holes. Um, if I play any more great ones, I'll try to get them to you so you can see them. But thanks for watching, and as always, keep uh, watching to keep saving. Thanks, guys.